All right, guys, I'm Matt. I'm Rabir. And this is Sound Like on Anderson's TV. Hi, Matt. Hello, Rabia. How are you? I'm very, very well. Good. Are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm a little tired today. Some may say that I feel a little bit stone roses. Is the band we're doing today? <laughs> Fine. Yes, we are. We're going to try and sound like Manchester Legends Stone Roses. So, a bit of bass for Manny, a bit of John Squire guitar action. Not a Squire, though. No. We could do that, though. That'd we could, good. actually. Um, should we go and let's try? Yeah, let's do it. So... John Squire. John Squire, yes. We're in the land of guitars at Anderton's music here in Guildford. Yes. Looking for... So, he's known for playing a Gretsch country gentleman, mm -hmm. I have read. Okay. However, if you just do a quick Google images of John Squire guitar, Plenty Jazz anything. Masters, Les Pauls, Strats, Strats, Country Gentlemen's... Yeah. Quite a lot. So... Listening to the songs that we listened to before we came in here, just to have a kind of gander, aural gander, of what they might sound like. Um, I was hearing single chords. <laughs> <laughs> Never say single chords, that's what happens to me. <laughs> I was hearing single coils. Um, I was hearing like a slightly twangy guitar sound, yeah. lots of spring reverb. So I kind of got an idea of the, the rig to get. But when you said Gretsch Country Gentleman, I'm thinking if we get a budget Gretsch, mm. they don't have the Filtertron TV Jones style pickups no, to give you the twine. They're like they they're a look-alike. Yeah, and they? they're more like a humbucker, which I just don't think he's gonna get us there. If they split, that might help us. It might, but a split humbucker never sounds like a single coil. Not identical, but it would probably get us close. Yeah. Or we could get a guitar with single coils. Well, that's a very revolutionary thought there, Rabir. <laughs> yeah, it is. And so we're in the area where you can get squires, you can get a GNL. Um, which are two very decent single coil loaded guitars. Mm, I'm you just know, looking brands. at over here. Yeah, there's, there's tons of stuff. That orange one is speaking to me. Yeah, but it's £1,300. Yes. Uh, this is quite a looker. It's a very traditional Fender vibes, but it's a GNL. Okay. Um, and it's three single coil, 479. Well, just budget wise, that'd leave All us American with, parts. That'd leave us with about a thousand pounds to get our amp and pedals. Pretty decent, right? We should, yeah, you should be able to get something fairly good. You say American parts and pickups. Yeah, well, you've got. We don't have to get this color. I mean, they do have other ones. Like, for example, they got a Fiesta Red. Well, There's a greeny one behind you here. They got a Sunburst, and we got a greeny one. I actually like this one. I think this is more the kind of thing that you'd expect, would you? I, I don't know. I'm just just a hunch, but I like it. However, maple fretboard. Yes. Or rosewood fretboard. So he uses rosewood, doesn't use any maple apparently, does he? Yeah, no, well, no maple fretboards on any of the guitars that we've seen. Shucks. Well, in which case, uh, there is this. This is the same guitar, but it's got, it uh, looks like a Honduran rosewood, or I think it's not, oh, a bit it's not half rosewood. Fairway. Might get us a bit closer, mm. but it, it might just be having a Worth having a quick look at Should Squire. Let's see stuff. what we can get. 479. Let's stick to a kind of sub 500 pound budget. Play a strat and a three tone sunburst. Mexican. Hello. There you go. As you'd expect from a Fender strat, this is a Parafero board. So it's, it's still not rosewood, but it's, it's closer. It's close uh, for sure. Okay. Might be a goer. What's it might one? be a goer. Oh, we've got my personal favourite. The Squire oh. Classic Vibe at oh, 359. Vibe. And that, you know, I think we could afford to stretch a little bit further though. I don't imagine we're going to have a lot of pedals. No, I know. This is really good though. I know you're a big fan. But I mean... Look at that. Okay, so we've had a little bit of a beard stroke and uh, basically figured that in order to get a good selection of amps and pedals, that would, you know, get us a great bang on tone. Brilliant. We're probably stretching it a little bit at 529 for this player series. Because he plays a Fender Twin, but there's wah, there's chorus, and normally Fender's amplifiers are very clean. So a bit of a, like a driven kind of tone. Just, so. just subtle drive, but you need a pedal to do that. Yeah, so to get something high quality sounding. Is, this a, prophecy, is a prophecy about to be fulfilled once again? I mean, Squire Classic Vibe. You should just buy that, I think. I mean, look, 
329. He loves it. He loves it. All right, sorry, keep players. Saying it. I'm saying it again. This guitar for the money is an absolute stonker. It's a beast. And I absolutely love the fact that it's that affordable. So this is the guitar we're going to use. So we've read that John Squire uses a Fender Twin. He does, which is they're about, right there. Yeah, they're about 1,300 to 1,500 quid. Yeah. Um, so a little bit out of our budget today. However, you might have heard of this amp called the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. It's a stellar, stellar amp for the money. We've used it a lot. I think these are what, seven? They're 780. Yeah. Which, honestly, is fantastic value for the quality of sound you get. Tape pedal's great, cleans are great, driven sound good. Indeed they are. I mean, or we could go for bass breaker. Hmm, too much gain, it's too modern. I, think? I, I honestly think that if we get the hot rod, it's probably the best bet. It does have a drive in it, but it's probably not the right kind of drive, but we can at least give it a go. Okay, or um, well, you might be able to blend it with a pedal. Yeah, and again, it's within budget. We're just pushing over a thousand pounds with the guitar and the amp. Uh, well, about one one hundred. Yeah, so we've still got four hundred pounds to play with. For a while, a chorus and a drive pedal, which is great. Let's go and find them. Let's do it. Pedals. 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 Pedal cabinet. Yes. Um, we're looking for a an Ibanez TS9 or similar, which is round the corner. Actually, right here. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, they moved them. They did. Oh, there um, you go. There it is. There we go. They're about one, two, nine. So yes. I think we can afford that with our remaining bouge. Yeah, there's tons of uh, excerpts with I, I heard the chorus earlier today. Correct. So I love the MXR analog chorus because it's my favourite chorus that they do. Okay. Just because it's so easy to use and it can do any kind of chorus you yeah, need. Very nice. Um, and then Cry Baby Wah would be great. That's right here. Look at that. Right on cue. Yeah. And I think. And then we're talking about getting some kind of. Oh, we've got a TS, so we don't really need a drive. I think that's it. It, it says he uses a, a Dallas Arbiter Fuzz Face. I'm not quite sure how he'd use it to get the achieve the sounds we well, were What we, we heard today, I'm, yeah. I'm hearing some slightly driven stuff. We heard some wah. Yeah, of course, we, we heard some chorus. So let's go and, and see. And reverb, which we have built in. Let's go see what it sounds like. In the video room. Yes, we are in this Brit pop adventure. Brit pop ad uh, hang on, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Get off my turf. Yeah. <laughs> That's what that was. That was what that was. He was stone roses. Stealing my turf. Oh, yeah. Sorry. This is this sounding like stone roses. Mm -hmm. John Squire. Mm -hmm. Manny. Yep. Um, What's his last name? Manny Manson. <laughs> <laughs> Manny Manson. <laughs> <laughs> he's not called Manny Manson. No, he's not. No, he's not. Right, anyway, so I'm sounding like Manny, you're sounding like John Squire. Yes. Without further ado. Let's get straight into it. Let's do it. This is a guitar. Oh, I love this guitar. Pierre likes. I keep telling him to buy it, honestly. I don't need a Squire, but it's an Every absolutely brilliant guitar. For £354, I think they are. Um, it's just great. Sounds good, plays really well. Um, stays in tune, believe it or not, for a Squire, and looks good. It's a classic vibe, 60s, so I prefer the 60s voice pickups, generally speaking. This is a great guitar. I really like it. Um, it runs straight into the Ibanez TS9. Which he uses. Yes, he does. Uh, and then is the MXR Analog Chorus, because which I don't think he uses, but it's a good chorus and it can kind I of achieve... an Ibanez Chorus. Right, okay. But you can achieve... You know, back in the day when we played some of the excerpts, you can hear that the chorus is, was a thing in those days. And so we Very just present. got an analog chorus. I know how to use it better than others um, from our experience on Sound Like here. Yep. Sounds good.
and then we're going into the Cry Baby by Dunlop, which is your archetypal wah pedal. Which he also uses. He does. And it worked really well for all of those wah needs. Yep. And then, of course, uh, he's got a Fender Twin, but being budgets, you know, restraints and all that, we've got the Hot Rod Deluxe, which is still a fantastic amplifier. It's a good one. It's a good one, especially with pedals. We always find it works well. Yeah. So I used the wah for Fool's Gold, um, and that was the only time that I used the Ibanez TS9. Uh, for the other tracks, I actually used the, the gain from the amplifier. Um, nice. I just found it worked better tonally nice. for what I needed. But in any case, I'll go through the, the rig. So this is the guitar straight in. That's how it sounds. Um, nice. And then the TS9, which I ran the level down low. It's actually better if you boost the, the gain up a bit and do like. Again, not bad. You boost up. It's a really nice sound. Uh, and then I'll show you the analog chorus. Again, all those late 80s, early 90s vibes. Yeah, but if I throw on the gain like I had it, it would be more like a. Um, Which is basically the sound that I heard on the record, at least. Nice. And that was using the more gain setting, more drive on the amp. Really? Yeah. Oh, that much gain. Uh, and then lastly, the wah pedal. If I just take the level down a bit, it's a bit pokey. And that would be the rig in its entirety, which nice. if you extract it from the context of this video, you can do a lot with this rig. It's very nice. Again, it's one of those where every element stands up on its own. So, you know, lots, I love this guitar. Lots of scope. You really do. I really, 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 really like this guitar. I think you should buy it. I'm not going to buy it. Go on. I'm not. It'd but be great. if you're in the market for a, a Fender Strat style guitar, you don't have a lot of money, I highly recommend But I wouldn't this. even say you don't have a lot of money because it just is a great guitar. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, even if you, yeah. It's just a great just guitar for a, anyone. Yeah, if you want a great Strat style guitar, this classic vibe 60s Squire Strat is just awesome. Yeah. It's really important to point out what you were doing because the bass is almost, well, it's probably more important than anything else in this. Well, it's very, sound. very prevalent, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so I went with, and it's not exactly what I wanted, 
But um, he plays a lot of semi-hollow, semi-hollow Rickenbackers and also Epiphones primarily. Um, so that's what I wanted. We didn't have any in the store. I saw a snap of him playing something similar to this, an SG style bass. This is by Epiphone, um, which is trying to get those really woody tones. Mm. Um, I managed to dial in with the, the rumble using the, vin this is the vintage mode and the drive channel, but not any drive, um, which sounds a little bit like this. There you go. So it sounds, it sounds pretty woody and um, yeah, yeah. They're fairly close. And these are really, really affordable. So yeah, we'll stick a link in for these as well. There's such a big gap between the sort of sound the guitar's creating and the bass being yeah. like... Oh, this is so dry. Yeah, like in modern music, in modern rock, you hear way more like character in a bass tone, like the distortion or whatever it is they're using. And it kind of melds with the guitars more, whereas this is like just a huge gap. This is a bit more I mean? reminiscent of maybe something like the Beatles, like a bit more yeah, I know what you mean. woody and dry and then something a bit more going on the guitars. Literally the bass and the treble. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, the mid-range, you know, what, what mid-range? There you go. <laughs> anyway, that is how it sound like Stone Roses without busting the bank. Yeah, let us know how you think we did. Did we sound Manchester enough? <laughs> well, I mean, oh, wait, that's not Manchester. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's Liverpool. Let us know how you think we did. And all the links to all the gear is in the description box below. It is. Comment who you'd like us to sound like next time. And we really hope you enjoyed this episode. I've been Rabia. And I've been Matt. And this has been Sound Like on Anderson's TV. Yes, it has. See you. Ciao. Yo, my name is Beer, and this is Matt. We're in the Anderton's TV flat. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> <laughs>